Last week, on 20th April, the oil industry was turned upside down when a futures contract price for the US oil benchmark, Western Texas Intermediate, turned negative for the first time in history. This means that at the closing price of minus 37.63 US dollar per barrel on that day, the buyers of futures contract are actually being paid by the sellers. To understand how this could happen, one has to understand the nuances of the WTI futures contract. The WTI is the benchmark price of crude oil produced in the US, which is not exported due to the steady demand for oil domestically. The futures contract specify that buyers will have to take delivery of the physical oil when the contract expires. In this instance, the May 2020 contract was set to expire on 21st April. Many of the holders of the futures contract are financial players such as hedge funds and exchange traded funds or ETFs who are not equipped to take delivery of barrels of oil. Moreover, with the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus in the US, demand for jet fuel and petrol collapse as people stay at home. This caused a buildup of oil inventory and led to a shortage of storage capacity. All these forces coming together on the day before contract expiry led to panic selling by the holders of these contracts, resulting in them willing to pay buyers to take the oil off their hands. For one, do not expect to be paid the next time you pump petrol into your car. The negative oil price was partially technical in nature. After expiry of the May contract, the June 2020 contract traded at around 12 US dollar per barrel. However, the general message is clear. With the collapse in demand for oil because of the COVID-19 virus, oil is in oversupply and storage capacity is quickly running out. This can be seen not only in the WTI, but also in the Brent crude price, which is a benchmark for global oil price outside of the US. Brent crude has fallen from around 65 US dollar at the beginning of the year to about 22 US dollar on 23rd of April. The economic implication from this collapse in oil price is that many companies in the oil industry, be it oil producers or their supply chain of rig builders, oil field services, offshore marine and oil trading companies will feel the pain, especially if they are caught wrong footed. Even if the lockdown in many countries are lifted, it will take some time before life gets back to normal and demand for oil recovery to reach an equilibrium with supply. In the meantime, the volatility may result in the failures of many companies in the industry and will advocate caution for investors looking to bottom fish in this space.